The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but boy, I've got some really bad static over here. This is the, tr um, let's try it again, Larry. This is the soybean oil chart. This was our chart, uh, stock. <whistles> our trade of the day on Friday, as you can see, we were selling at 46.50. The high was 46.85. It made the first profit objective already of $600. It's trading at about $700 right now. It did go to $900, but uh, we I told the folks, I think this has got a lot more in it, so put your stop at break even and see what you're looking at. All I'm doing when I watch this is I come up, oh, the static is gone. That's great. Anyway, there's the uh, move, and now you see we're having a little bit of a rally back. Just look at this beautiful three drive to a top pattern, folks. Those patterns, there's your A, B, C, D, three drive to a top and then rolling over. And we'll just look at the 382 here now to see where we are here. And we'll just draw down from your low down to your high. Your 382 comes on up here about another 20 cents. So uh, let's keep a, oh, wow. Let's keep a, a close eye uh, on that. Okay, folks, I want to talk a little bit about the bond market because there's a big rally going if you want to call it big. We'll get up here. By the way, I, I want to mention something. My whole show today was going to be uh, about the letter that Jeff Huge sent out uh, over the weekend, and it has some of the very best historical stuff I have ever seen, going back hundreds of years, back in the time of Tom, uh, <laughs> not Thomas Jefferson, for God's sake. <laughs> I'm losing it, boys and girls. <laughs> oh, my God. I, Isaac Newton, for God's sake. This is the Treasury bonds. As you can see here, we had a big rally here. Okay, that was two full points. We had a rally here. This wasn't quite two full points. You see, it missed it by quite a bit. So this one was almost exactly two points. Now, we got lower highs in here, folks. Folks, there's nothing bullish about this bond market at all. I mean, there really isn't. So I bring that to your attention because we've seen these before. Uh, something is out there that is very ominous in my opinion. I don't know if I'm right or not, but all I'm saying is uh, be afraid, be very afraid, be careful for, for heaven's sakes. Let's do that if nothing else, okay? Now, just for kicks and giggles, I wanna come over here and uh, take a look at the, uh, the uh, treasury notes. I'll be down here just a second here and we'll get this up here, what we wanna do is we want to look at that on an hourly basis also and see what the rallies were here in the Treasury notes. Okay, so here's uh, there was the big move down here uh, uh, su uh, Sunday night. Okay, that was Sunday night, and then of course we opened and had a pretty good uh, had a pretty good rally. This Sunday this Sunday night uh, move right here was most probably nothing more. Then this uh, A, B, C, D pattern right there. Let's see how close we came to it. Oh, there it is right there. Then we had a pretty good rally. And as you can see, it's also have lower tops in here. and We're starting to come down even lower. So that's uh, that's my feeling on these. The fact is we're starting to fill the gap right now. So we're going to be watching. <clears throat> we're going to be watching that one very closely, too. But uh this does not have, it's not a bullish picture here, folks. When you look at this on the daily, you know, oh, it's bad data. And I'll tell you, today's a day, uh, one of these days where you drive me nuts. The technical Google people shut me out again this morning for no darn reason at all. I, They said they'll be ready in six hours. Usually they take two days. So today they're supposed to be six hours. I, I get so frustrated with these people, I don't know. Uh, you know what to do okay now let's move on here to a few other things that we need to uh, uh, be talking about um, we had a um, let's get the uh, S&P uh, one thing at a time folks I'm trying to do too many things. 
Oh, there's another. I bet you that's from Washington, D.C. Just leave it ringing. You can't stop them, I don't think. You can't. We're going to take a look here at the crude oil market. Very interesting because, you know, we were saying to watch the uh, possibility of a 382 in the crude. Oh, shut the front door. Just a minute, boys and girls. Here we are. Here's the crude oil. Let's get it up here on the hourly chart so we can see what we were watching. Here's what we were watching last night. We had this low that we had here on Friday. Remember, we were watching for the 382. There's from your low. Remember, we closed here almost just a little bit under the 382 it came in at 63 it closed at 30 and then it had a gap up and the pullback look at this this pullback came uh, just a tad under the 382 here the difference here is uh, 30 pips there's 91 and now it's trading up at 47 but it came down pretty hard now remember this is an hourly chart so it took uh, half a day almost well not a half a day but quite a while to get down to that level now if you bought it there your stop has got to be below the 61% retracement because sometimes it'll drift down to the 50% and then shoot back up. But this tells us that we're most probably going to be looking at a three drive to a top pattern here in the next day or so. Now, remember, Iran is telling everybody in the world that we're coming after Israel. Oh, this is a big surprise. After 3,000 years, everybody's surprised about that. Anyway, now we have a potential for a three drive to a top pattern. We're going to draw that in because it's going to come in right up here. And that's when you want to be watching. And you should be bullish. Into, oh, shucks. It should be bullish. Okay, there's your X point. There's A, B, C, and D will bring you right up here. Okay. Now, I don't know if it's going to get there or not, but try to be bullish as you look through here. As long as you don't go below, below this level, this is a bullish chart, and believe me, it's an hourly, so you've got a you know pretty good chance to do it. Now, this this movement right here was very interesting. I'm going to bring this up here in a much smaller time frame because this is how you you trade without risking very much. See here here was the move right here. There was the low, all right, and here was your rally up. Okay, now you see how this came right down to the 382 off of that high right here. And then what did it do? It started to go up, and there's where we are now. And what we're headed for, in my opinion, and of course, you know, opinions are like armpits. Everybody has one, and it's usually wrong. Is up here about another two bucks. At that level, you got to take attention. You have to pay attention to it because we're at 170, uh, 336 as we're looking this thing under, <clears throat> as we see it uh, here today. Okay, now let's move on here to a couple other things that we want to be watching. Uh, all right, we've got a chance here for this rally to continue here that we started here in the, S in the Dow Jones here this morning. Hold on. Let me get this up correctly, and we'll be uh, – we got a break coming. We'll be right back, folks. Bear with me here. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. 
Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first time subscribers receive a 30 day money back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time tested technical analysis. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Okay, folks, when we'll look at the gasoline contract as you know, it moves along with the crude. There's where our uh, low was here on Friday. We had a big gap up, but it, it was not at the 382. As you can see, it was considerably below it. It went down to the 50% level. Then it's gapped up. But remember, in an hourly chart, we did have a pullback right here. So the thing that you want to be watching is if you're looking at these things, you'll be able to go from your low up to your high, and you'll see – you came in almost to the tick of the exact low right here at 206. You're now three cents higher and moving higher. So that tells us it looks like that thing that we're looking at in the uh, crude oil is probably going to be moving up. Now, we should also take a look at the heating oil. Bear with me here one second while I, while I get it up, and we'll take a quick look at it and uh, get the 60-minute in on that. Ah, this, is the, this was even more bullish. Let's get over here. This was more bullish, and I'll tell you why, folks. Here's where we were on Friday, okay? There's the pullback right here. Now, let's just see if some of this stuff that Tom Hugard loves really comes in to make, make help. <laughs> Look at this, folks. We're closed on Friday right here. Boom, bang, bang. There's your other pullback right here. This one is a little more than 382. I can tell you that right now, but still does not violate the 50%. See, there's your 382. There's your 50%. This tells us that we are moving up higher. So we're looking like we're going to go to maybe uh, 73, 38 or so, another buck and a half higher in the oil. It may be higher because, you know, there could be uh, more uh, stuff with the wars and things like that that we've got going on over there. Any of that stuff could make these things go wacko. So we'll take this out, and then we want to take a look at a couple of stocks that everybody loves to see. We'll take a look at Apple. It's been under a great deal of pressure lately, but we want to come up and take a quick look at it here. And we'll do Tesla right after that also. One very good. And uh, hold on one second. Uh, okay, let me QRST. Uh, Larry, try Apple starts with an A, bozo. There's where we are. A is for Apple. A, A, where are you at here? There, there's Apple. We're going to get the 60 minute up. And it is uh, under pressure, but it looks like it's bouncing back a little bit. It's had a pretty big, uh, you know, drop here. Uh, well, we've had a pretty big drop, 20 drop, 12 points or so. Let's look at this uh, on a little bit longer time scale so we can see where the next. Ooh, we're right on the next support. End of story. There it is right there. There was your 78% level. It came within, uh, let me see, the low here was uh, 1971. 
786 was 1918. So this is pretty good support uh, into this level uh, uh, right here. Okay. All right. Now, next one we want to take a look at is going to be Tesla. We'll come up here and take a quick look at Tesla. All these stocks look alike, actually. Uh, well, not all of them. I want to show you one in particular that doesn't look like that. Wow. Now, there's, see, Tesla stopped. Uh, at the 61% retracement of this almost, see it went below. You see here, we uh, let's get rid of this because we don't. We I don't know if we that that's beyond my pay grade to do that one. So I want to get rid of that so we don't have to pay any attention to it. How do I do it? I think I have to do it by the easy way, which is right back here, and then just delete it this way. Okay, here's where we are uh, with this. As you can see, we went way below any a b c d that should end at 44 but we had a gap down you see that gap down right there and you remember when you have a gap down what do you do you want to make sure that your cd leg is expanded instead of a b equals c d you want c d to be 1.27 because you have a gap so all you do is you go up and you can do this of course with your uh, calculator which is the best way to do it and then you just put in the 127 ratio instead of a, B equals C, D, and you'll see that there was your low, 269.63, and the low was 269, 239, excuse me, 239.17 was the low uh, today, and it was measured to go to 239.63. Uh, so that one came uh, pretty close to uh, what we were looking for uh, as we were watching uh, some of these things here uh, moving today. Okay, now. Let's go back and take a look at one other market that we need to be watching here. Take a look at the silver and gold. Pretty much doing the same thing, but silver is much weaker. This is where silver, what silver did today. Whoa, let's get it up here. There it is. You see we made a beautiful ABCD pattern up here. We came down, and we did not take out these lows as of yet. Now, you see our rally back here has just barely been a 382, as you can see here. That's really what we've done so far. Uh, and same thing in the gold. Gold we had, let's get that gold market up here. And we'll just get up here. And then what we'll do is we will put on a 13 minutes so everybody can see it. And you'll see what we were watching here. Last night we had a beautiful A, B, C, D here. There's A, B, C, D right there. Double A, B, C, D coming in right there. At uh, 57, we come down. Haven't quite made a new low yet, but uh, stops now at the break even. The 382 on this, folks, was right here at 27.55. But you can see the double ABCDs that we had overnight on this. There's your first one right here, measuring up to uh, 55. And then you had another one right here that measured just about to the high of the day, which was 57. And now this is where we are right now uh, in this. Uh, now, I don't know whether people ask me this. I don't know if this is the high that we've been waiting for or not. The fact that it's broken $60 down from the high, which was 1803. And if you remember that on that hourly chart that we brought up to you, there there was the double ABC. Remember, this was the first AB. Larry, stop it. This was your first ABCD right here which was at 1.618. There was your second one, 1.618. We were on the air when we talked about this. 28.0180. The high was 28.0180. I mean, that's pretty uh, pretty close. So now, if we take these out, and you know we're not very far from doing that, but if we do, then you're looking at uh, another $30, $40, $50 down more in the, uh, in the gold market, if that, in fact, is uh, going to happen that way. So let's remind ourselves of these things, okay? Let's move this out of the way now, and we'll see uh, what we're doing here. Uh, we got Apple out of the way here, and then we can get uh, Tesla here out of the way, and I think we'll be uh, we'll be moving along here pretty good. Uh, uh, hold on a second. <laughs> I'm doing too many things, folks. Let me uh, let me get this out of the way, and this out of the way, and get Tesla out of the way. And then I will answer one other question that we had today, which was about, hold on, I get the chart up. It's about United Healthcare. There's United Healthcare, one of the most, well, it is, I don't know if it still is or not. 
Uh, I don't know if it's still the most expensive. I'm pretty sure it is. I think it's still the most expensive stock. And you can see uh, for these last few days here, uh, you can see we, we topped up here on uh, October the uh, the 14th, and then we had that bad news. The bad news, it rallied back to 50%. Now it's just been drifting uh, to the downside. That's not very good bullish action, in my opinion. You've got this monster gap, which was earning related, earnings related. So there's not too much, unless you know what the earnings are going to be. When you do an earnings thing like that, folks, you almost, if you have any respect for risk, you got to do a put or a call. My opinion, of course, stand corrected. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, this is the December soybean meal on a daily chart. Now, you can see I've got these swings marked for the last six months. Notice each one of them is equal. Now, this is what's so important about this one. This one being ABCD, but you see the 1.618 over here? 
That's also very important. Move that over. But even more important, if you go back and look at this, uh-oh, yeah, I can do this. It's a continuation. Hold on. Look at the weekly. Folks, you got to go back to 2015. I believe that's where it was. 2020. You got to go back four, four years to get prices this low in soybeans. And look what happened when... <laughs> When they get oversold, so got it. You got to pay attention to this one, okay? Uh, well, you don't got to do nothing. That's for sure. Let's get that daily back up again. But here's the strategy: is uh, you know we've had a little bit of a rally today. We got up to 301. We're a couple dollars below that right now. I don't. We'll look at it shortly here. But this is where you want. You got so many things going for you. Know what the harmonic number is? It's telling you that right there. So all of these are lining up just perfectly to come down in here. As a matter of fact, if you were to do this last one right here, from that level here to this level here, you're going to get knock on heaven's door right there at the same price down here and around that 280, 283 level. So anything under anything under 285, this old cowboy's got his farm tractor ready to go. I really like it. Now looking at this on a smaller time frame, we'll get the eight minute up. We'll see. We had a big move here. We went from 93 up to 02, 900 bucks. Let's see if it landed on anything. Well, you can see it's been so bearish that there's really, uh, let's just try it the easy way. Nope, that doesn't work because it's too big, and I'll just delete it. And then we'll just do it with the, uh, well, you've got two. I know this is not a 382. Wow, it's close. That means this one is. So we'll hit this level right here. And that came in right at the 382 of that high right here. So that was a spot. Now, the reason why you got to do both of them, folks, is because they were both very important. You see the size of them are relatively close, but there's the first one. Didn't quite make it. That happened right here. The difference, folks, between both of those is only $120. So you've got to think, wow, maybe this stuff, you know, does work. Does it work all the time? No, it doesn't work all the time. But I got good news for you, boys and girls. Nothing does. Nothing, nothing, nothing does at all, at all, at all. So make sure you remind yourself of, of that as we're watching some of these things come to, to uh, the shop here today. All right, let's go back to that Dow Jones. Uh, let's let's do the that, let's do the the S and P, and then we'll also do the uh, do the Nasdaq. Now here's where we are uh, on the uh, long term picture, the hourly chart. Okay, now. There's where we were on Friday, folks. You see, we missed the 382 on this by by one pip. This came in at 04. It was supposed to be 05. Now, what we did so far this morning, you'll be able to see it. And this is why there's a chance for a rally to come, is that we did have an ABCD here on the downside. That's where the, the Dow Jones made it perfectly. The S&P did not quite make it personally. That comes in at 512. The low has been 23, so it hasn't really done very much right here. The problem with these folks is what's we what we see happening in all of these indices is they're they're very very weak. The the amount of their well the Nasdaq bounce is pretty good, but the rest of them are just not doing very much. And we'll do the Nasdaq right now, get that hourly chart up, and see how it's bouncing today. Same thing. Now you can see on Friday, there's where the 382 was right here. Now look at today's action. It's very important. You see how we have the lower tops in here. Now we came down and we tested the bottom. We rallied all the way up to the 786, came down and tested it again. So this is really strong support here at 2,000. There's 20,000, and we're 150 points uh, above it. So it's holding relatively good. The problem arises is right here because you got a low here, a low here. What happens if you just make another new high right here, right at the 382? That's the one you want to be watching. Election or no election. But remember, that's 200 points. So watch this number. We'll be talking about it on Wednesday. If the markets are still operating, <laughs> they will be. Anyway, watch this one right here, folks. That's the exact uh, 382 on this, and we'll see it. But there was a beautiful ABCD. This one completed. The Dow Jones completed, but the S&P missed it. That means the S&P is just a tad stronger than the two because it is didn't miss it. So there went right down to 2032. And you rallied 200 points. That's $8,000. For excuse me, $4,000, folks. And that's where we are right now. Since we did that, let's switch over and take a look at the Russell. 
and we'll get the old Russell up here, which is uh, right there, I believe. And we'll get the 60 minute up on that. Oh, look at the Russell. It made an ABCD. And Gartley said, sell the first ABC in a bear market. And this is a bear market, in my opinion. And there is your ABCD. It's really close to it anyway. All we got to do is there's your X spot. Okay. You come down, there's A, B, C, and D. And what we're going to do is we're going to measure, because we've made lower lows now, we've got to come over here. We've got to come over here, and we've got to change the 382 because we've made a lower low than we did here. So this 382 is no longer valid. We get this out of the way, and we're going to measure it from this spot right here, from this high down to this high right here. And that brings it in right where it's trading right now here at, you can see it right there at 2040. That's exactly the 382 ABCD. The high so far today has been 48, which is acting pretty good, actually. And when you look at this, you can see how good it's acting because after the low was made here on Sunday night, you had a big move here. And then the pullback, see the pullback from your low up to your high? Exactly, 382 telling you, hey, this puppy stopped going down for at least a while. So that's what we hit uh, as we land, landed that up pretty good. Let me check to see what the, oh, it looks like we got about another uh, uh, minute and 30 seconds left. I wanted to cover uh, the wheat market here because I think we're getting ready for another good buy in the wheat market. We're selling off again, uh, which is not unexpected because, you know, we've uh, had a nice run on this on the upside. Uh, that was that ABCD right here. Look, we have lower highs coming in right now. Move this over now because remember, this was the real key buying point. There was our profit objective, folks. That was $1,200. We were buying here. We we're buying here at 60. We got out of it right up here at uh, 79. And now it's coming down and looks like what it's doing here. Remember now, this is taking a whole week. So this is the kind we'd like to see because you got a lot of action in here. So you've got lower tops and you've got higher bottoms. So you're still in a downtrend. So what we want to do is measure these ABCDs just to see how they fit up with the way we're looking. So the first one is this big one right here. There it is right there. That comes into 560. That's now near our magic time. And we got another one right here. Guess what? We'll finish it up when we come back from our break at 563. We'll be right back. trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at tfnn.com for just $97. 
news. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're going to get back to the wheat here. Uh, we got three swings here. We got A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, and then we have a final one right here, which is A, B equals C, D. And you'll notice they're all coming down in this area. The lowest one is 560. This low here was 582. Now, I will be looking to be a buyer at that level right here. Now, you can see here, there's probably going to be some stops down in this area right here because there is a potential here. And as we look at this over the last few weeks, there is a really strong potential that we could get one more wipeout swing here in the wheat right here. That would take you down. To this level right here now the difference here that we're looking at between the level we want to buy and where this is is seven cents that's 350 dollars american all right so if you're going to buy here hopefully you know, well hopefully it's a terrible uh, trading word but if you if you're going to buy it here you're going to have to put your stop uh probably just below here because we'll probably get to there and look what you've got right below that you've got that 1.618 number setting in there right now that would be, I think that's where we're going to go. Uh oh, I think I'm almost sure it's going to go there now because as we look at it with a little bit more data, which we're going to do here, and uh, I'll put this up here ABCD. Oh, there it's going to take that out. We're going to get to there probably. So I would be a buyer after we take these stops out. I'd be a buyer down here right around this 554 level. That's this ABCD, 554. 550 is your 1.618. So you Say 554, you add eight cents. So you put your stop at uh, two, that be eight cents on that would take you down. Put your stop at uh, 48. That's, uh, see, wait, no, that's more than 46. 46 would be your stop at five. Let's just draw this in here so we can see it. Is uh, 546 would be the stop. Buying it is 553. The distance is seven cents, $350. It's certainly acceptable by any stretch of the imagination. Remember, this one right here that we had was a perfect three drive to a bottom pattern, A, B equals C, D, right there. So that's what we're watching here this morning as we look at these. I had another request for, uh, someone asked me the question, if I uh, ever found uh, a stock that was absolutely impossible to trade. I've seen one. And I'll show it to you right here. You're going to guess what it is because it's all about war. Lockheed Martin, folks. Let me get this daily chart up in here. You don't see these very often, but look at this, folks. This just goes straight up and there's no selling at all. I mean, these you can't even count them. I mean, you're talking $10 and a $450 stock. Now, it's had a big sell-off here up at 620 I just realized that. Uh, High well, there was a, there was the high of the market on the 18th of October. Now we've come down pretty hard. I mean, just it's been getting hammered, but it's really hard to find any swings in here. You can find them, but by golly, you've got to be a you'd have to be a magician. There's a there there would be drive one, there would be drive two, and drive three would be up there. Let's just see how close it measured to it. There's your AB pattern right here. Just measured up to 605. 
the high was uh, 620. Uh, so it missed it by uh, 15 bucks, and now it's starting to come down. This was the surprise one right here, folks, because you had a tiny ABCD here on the daily. Uh, you probably see that really clearly on the hourly, if I have it on the hourly, and I think I do. Uh, not today, not today. Refresh, let me see. Here. No, refresh maximum. Yeah, this might do it. Hold on, we could finally see it if they can give me the data. I, I, I use the delayed data, folks. Let's don't waste any time on this, okay? But, oh, there it is. There's the ABCD that I was... Uh, that I was referring to right here, the final one right there. That A, B, C, let's see how close it came to that one. A, B equals C, D came in at uh, 620 and the high was 619. So that missed, that missed it by dollar. I have a $600 stock. So maybe some of these A, B, C, Ds have uh, some good uh, value. I don't know, maybe, maybe so. Okay, now we take a look at one other one that someone asked me to take a look at, which was the cattle market. As I said in the video this morning, very early, and I sent out real early this morning. Uh, you know what? I think I sent it out sat, uh, Sunday. Yeah, I did. I sent it out Sunday, and that was to look at either cattle or hogs, and we decide we are going to go with the hogs because they had the clear pattern. Now we're going to look at the cattle. This is uh, Christmas cattle. They're also under a great deal of pressure. But here, as you can see here, the cattle did not make the, the final pattern. Now, we made a new high. And then we broke. And I said, well, one of two things is going to happen. It's going to have a little 382 retracement or we do the hogs. And I said, the hogs looked clear. And of course, the hogs work the best because they're down uh, over $900 so far today, which is always a good start. So this is why. If you come up to the hourly chart on this, here was the high right up here. We missed that because we were doing some other things there on that day, the 29th. The market came down. Uh, we didn't get any type of a 382 until mid-morning this morning. It rallied up to 86. It's now, well, it's dropped a point and a half, dropped $600 on that, just using the, just using the old <coughs> 382. So that's helpful, in my opinion, of course. All right, let's get this out of the way, and we'll review some of these other things. We've got the wheat out of the way here. Uh, I think we got that. Uh, See where the uh, cattle are right here. Let's see the, excuse me, the hogs. Hogs are still going down. You can see there was the ABCD right up here. Excuse me, it's this one. There's uh, today's pattern right there. The order was to sell at 84.70. High was 84.85. Uh, and then our first profit objective was right here. You can see the A. Well, gee, this thing is filled with ABCDs. I don't understand why people don't look at these ABCDs very much. I, I guess I know why, and that's because they uh, they don't work all the time. But uh, I do have something that works all the time, but uh, I'm not allowed to uh, bring it to your attention. <laughs> and if you believe that, I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge that are available to you uh, for purpose uh, purchase, if you'd like. All right, let's get up here. And take a look at this bond market, folks. There's where the problem is, right here. We got to pay attention to this because what's happening with this election stuff coming up? Okay, now these bonds. Let me get the long-term month. Well, let's do it the monthly. Okay. Oh, this is shows where you're going. This is so sad when you see this. Uh, I got to take this out. Okay, now it didn't make the 3A2. We did make the 3A2 in the in the uh, 20 year. I showed you that. The Treasury notes, they did make this. This did not. Now, when we take this out, folks, this is when they were trying to tell us that there was going to be negative interest rates. Uh, if you remember, there's a gentleman out there, and Bloomberg and CNBC all the time. His nickname uh, is Mo, but it's uh, Mohammed Elarian. He was a big proponent of this. And, of course, he came out on Friday, and he said, the bond market seems to be in big trouble. Uh, Mohammed, you nailed that one right. So anyway, this is why it looks so doggone bearish, okay? So we'll uh, we'll see what happens, but be real careful with this election, folks, because it's gonna be a, a, a doozy whopper, or whatever you wanna call it. It's gonna, be a, it's gonna be an exciting one for sure. All right, we'll be right back, folks. <clears throat>
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, this is the chart that makes me so bearish. This is the three drive to a top pattern on the long-term weekly Dow Jones. It made the exact high, folks, 43,570. Whoop. The exact high was 43,581. So it missed it by 10 points. We were saying to sell it at 43,570. Stayed there for well over three hours, believe it or not. And then it started to break. And I can see it. This was from last week. We closed last week at 42,800. Now, this morning, we made a lower low right down here at 14,770, uh, 91. So you can see that's the old high pretty much that you got in here. So it should have some support in here. But remember the last time we, there's top one. Top two was bigger than top one and top three is gonna be bigger than top three. So that's gonna take us down to this level at least right here. And possibly if it gets real nasty, is down in here someplace. But you can see here, this was, we were down four weeks into that August 5th low, and then away it went uh, to the upside. So this is what I think is happening. And uh, so far, the charts have uh, led us to believe that that is in fact what's going on. No matter what you're doing tomorrow, and I'll remind you again, for heaven's sakes, make sure there's gonna be a lot of trading overnight, just like there was in the 2020, 2016. And so, uh, Pay attention to that, uh, absolutely. But you want to be sure to put a stop in. 
even if it's a disaster stop, folks, because these things can go crazy. If the market's trading normally, which I think it will be, you'll just have some big swing. Hey, probably it'll be deader than a snail walking across a hot, hot, or hot road. I just made that up myself. Why would he ever be walking across the hot road? Anyway, uh, this is what we're watching here. Pay attention to these numbers, folks, and uh, make sure you use stops and you'll be just fine. Okay, so live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless, and we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow.